Alright guys, I'm going to give you a full look at the liquid ROM for the GSM Galaxy Nexus. You can see here we're running Android 4.1.1. We're running his dirty kernel. And this is the build date. 728 was Saturday. It is now the 31st. 6.08 a.m. Alright, let's go to the top of settings. I don't know why Bluetooth is on. This does come with Theme Manager though. Um, I don't have any themes installed because I just installed this. But any um, Jelly Bean themes will work for this this um, ROM. So once you go into Bird's Nest, you see the About Team Liquid. You see all of its members. Let's go back. Let's go to Interface, Battery battery style you can see I have the circle mod up there where it says 72% but you can have icon with center text you can have just icon with text that's not centered I prefer the circle you can have the battery bar let's just show that on top you can have the center one you can have the little charging animation where it makes where you know yeah <laughs> it kinda it's supposed to have bad performance, but I don't know. I never really used it anyway, so you can change the color of that. But it, that automatically changes color with your theme, so. For clock style, you can have right, center, and hide. AM, PM, don't, don't show, small or large. I have a small. And current weekday, I have regular, so. Let's go back. Let's go to navigation. Navigation is the bars at the bottom. Back home reasons. In case you didn't know. M menu location. You can have it on the right side, left side, both, or you just remove it. Menu visibility. It's just default. You can change the quantity of buttons, I believe. Yeah, right here, number of buttons you can have up to five, and then you can also change it so when you long press on something. So say you long press on home, you want to launch um, camera, just select that and then select camera. Let's go down, button glow. You can change the width and the height, and you can also add widgets. Then you can just reset stuff. So let's add widget one. So widgets aren't working yet, unless I have to add a widget. Let's change that to widgets. Let's go to add one. Let's click it. Nope. So widgets aren't working right now, but I'm pretty sure. Oops. Right. I'm pretty sure that'll be worked out in a newer build. Widget buttons, you can enable all of these. Um, flashlight is not working though. You can change the modes down there. Go down to widget button order. So if you wanted read mobile data under Wi Fi, you could change that order. Close draw and change. Hide scroll bar, haptic feedback, brightness control. Brightness control is when you put your finger up here and you slide it. That is brightness control, by the way, in case you didn't know. Let's go down to wallpaper. I'll show you the wallpapers on the home screen. Font size and power menu screenshot. That's when you press and hold and you see screenshot. All right, let's go down to lock screen. You can change background, owner info. You can, you can have the weather. I have it enabled. Metric is Celsius, just to let you know. You can have your calendar enabled. And you can change the shortcuts. Right now, there's only the stock three, but if you wanted a certain app on here, you could choose from these, or you can actually go into your applications, and you can choose any app from your applications. Let's go back, go to performance, proceed with caution, processor, 
you can overclock this to 1.3 gigahertz. You can change the uh, the governor too, by the way. Prop monitor. Do you know what is in your build prop? No, I do not. Air loading. Okay, so Wi-Fi scan interval, so you can change when you're like when it scans for Wi-Fi. You can change the density. Windows Manager Max Events Default Cache HSUPA Upload Speed Hack Warning if you change this value it will add the needed values to your build prop if they are not already present it requires a reboot Proximity Sensor Delay PM Speed Mode I mean Sleep Mode Optimize TCP Stack Check in Service 3G Hack where you uncap 3G speed, GPU acceleration, disable log cat, and SD card speed hack. I don't think you really need that on the Nexus, but if you do, here's where you can back up your liquid settings and you can also restore them. I don't have any backups, so. And that's pretty much it for the liquid settings. Let me show you guys. This only comes with. Oops, hit the wrong one. This only comes with one wallpaper. So if you don't like this wallpaper, you're kind of out of luck. <laughs> it comes with one, one and only wallpaper. So, and since I installed the camera enhancements, which is a, uh, that's another um, zip file, I'll put a link to the thread in the description down there so you can download everything you can read up on the thread you can see what's wrong what's broken let's wait for this to focus I don't know why flash is on you can't really see it through the camera but this focus is much faster than other builds I've used and it actually looks a lot better Let's bring something else in. Let's just bring this. Let's bring it up really close, see if it can focus. And it does. So even when you bring something in like really close to it, it still focuses. And let's see the quality. That's actually pretty great. So there you go. For the camera hacks, well, it's just it's, it's just kind of camera improvements, but you haven't really seen those on any other builds. So. I didn't show you guys lock screen either. Mostly cloudy. This is the degrees, time 6:15, and you can also add your shortcuts. So I'm gonna leave you guys with showing you guys the boot up animation. So let me hit reboot phone. This does come with the stock. Nexus boot animation, by the way. And here's the boot up animation. So, I mean, it is a stock Nexus boot animation. And this is for the GSM Galaxy Nexus, by the way. This isn't for Verizon or Sprint, although there may be a build for your phone. And wow, that boot up fast. But that was my review. Well, first look, because I haven't really used this. So I can't really make a full review because I haven't really used it. But that was my full look at this ROM.